Hey, want to see a 1976 Glenbrook GMC that floats on airbags? You're fixing to. Hey, I'm Mark with the Art of RVing. Hey, thanks for checking us out. If you are not a subscriber, become a subscriber. Share this thing out. Sharing is caring. Check us out on Instagram also. Okay, I'm excited today. A 1976 GMC Glenbrook with a 454 with only 45,000 miles, a 260. Check out this front wheel drive. It has airbags on it. He said it rides, can y'all see that? Rides like a Cadillac. I love the hard GMC tire cover on the back. And by the way, this is for sale. If you're interested in this, let me know and I'll put you in touch with Mr. James. Mr. James told me also that this toad will come with it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, I have died and gone to heaven. Okay, so here's my first look around. This is the front of it. And here is the back of it with the kitchen. Dude, look at this original dash on it. So there's your your fuel, your auxiliary fuel tank, your battery, air conditioner works in it. Look at that cassette, baby. Woo, if you had that cassette, you with a bomb.com, man. You got your little bear up there. So I wanted to show you these power level airbags right here. Apparently they auto level. This is like a speaker that are on both the driver and passenger side. And there's a switch there for that auxiliary lot. Isn't that cool? So here's a bunch of cans, just in case you're a prepper. <laughs> Don't forget your can opener. So Mr. James is replacing some of these top panels right here. And this kind of shows you how awesome this insulation is sprayed on top of the roof. Check out those original curtains right there with those curtain rings to hold them back. Pretty cool. Like a residential plug in it. And look at this interior. Man, just classic. Just a shot of these gigantic windows in here. It kind of reminds me of an Airstream in a way. Dude, that is a 300 foot DeWalt tape measure. I'm getting kind of warm in here. There's something just so cool about these vintage lights aren't they just old school it functions so well and check out those cabinets man i mean you talk about storage and there's the oven oh, i just stepped on something check out those old school gauges right there on your little control panel so let's see what's in here i'm not wearing gloves oh it looks some kind of nest right there and this oven of course something about knobs man i just like knobs looks like i had an electric starter Man, look at how beautiful this is. I love the fruit in here. It's just so, oops. Man, look at that intricacy. It's all on the same plane. Does anybody know what that means? So here's the closet, but here's another example of this curved carpentry in here. There's all these awesome curves because it's arched on the top and even like these corners. Here, let's see what's in here. That's always my famous last words. Here's an old coffee pot there. I think I made my papa coffee in that parking letter. And here's another shot of the storage. Amazing, huge drawers and storage. See what's in here. Oh, I'm stuck on Band-Aid. Called Band-Aid stuck on me. Woo, who remembers that? The thing I wanted to show you is this door. It flips open and then it seals off the back bedroom area. Fire ant killer. You better have some in Texas, bud. Check out this huge wardrobe in here. I mean, it's like a true closet see that curve everything's curved and a little place up there for your hats and stuff so this particular model has a wet bath and man this thing is huge man it's probably six foot four in here huge sink it has and it's got this huge mirror that goes across it and has makeup lights on both sides great mirrors almost like a marine type of construction in here got your hairbrush you dare me to brush my hair yeah i think i'll pass Just sliding door and that's where the toilet paper is i'm sure that keeps your toilet paper dry in the wet bath you know i'm infatuated with patterns on curtains and stuff so check it out uh there's a metal detector i like metal detecting with treasure hunter these these windows in here are gigantic and they all open here's the original bed material here and it looks like it has jack and jill beds in it two air conditioners and a 26 footer and of course i'm infatuated with these old school lights there's old school toggle switches there bro those are lights and then that's your water pump i'm infatuated about what time clocks stop low tech i really really like it this drawer cannot be pulled open it's got to be lifted up and pulled out and there's your fishing stuff <laughs> this is fun look at that an old coca-cola cup look at that plaid material this is great and so it has the support on the back but it's still designed 
with that big stripe down it. It just doesn't get any better than that. Even though it has gauges in it, it still has a coolant level light. So this is inside the glove box. Look at all these options that it was optioned with. Homemade ice cream, anybody? Uh, Mardi Gras beads, you know. We're very close to Louisiana, Mardi Gras. Check out that old tool caddy, man. Man, that, that thing works. Man, look how old that level is. It opens up like this and it's shaped in. It still has the curves in it. And it also has like a really deep pocket right here that you can put your brain things in there. This refrigerator is huge. It's like a residential refrigerator, man. My gosh, a place for ashtrays. Who remembers ashtrays? Look at that pattern right there. 1976 GMC Glenbrook. Oh, there's my tripod. I love this set. Welcome. Look at this cool shaped outdoor light. It's pretty cool. 1976 Glenbrook GMC. 